When I was seven years old, an uncle of mine gave me a book uh, that had a few knots and it. it was a scouting book and they were quite basic knots but for some reason or another they interested me, they talked to me and I was uh, kind of, I suppose from that point on, hooked into the world of knots and rope and I've never really left it since. And in 2007 I was honoured by the Queen to be awarded an MBE, a member of the British Empire, for my work in knots and rope. Well, I'm certainly a romantic person and I, I like to feel the, 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 the textures and the smell of old rope. But uh, what I think satisfies me is this combination of the uh, sculptural form and the shape and the craft of actually making it, the, the heritage that goes on down through the years um, and then has a function and, and form that's still relevant today. For example, you know, a, a sheet bend goes back 9,000 years. When you tie this knot, you suddenly realise it's like the survival of the fittest. It, it, it's the right thing for the right job. You can pick up a piece of rope from a sunken ship and see a splice that's maybe made three or 400 years ago. The Matthew Walker knot, that's you know, a direct uh, link with a named man. And you know, um, it's really nice to sort of feel part of a continuity of, of skills that go back through the centuries. A nuclear submarine still requires a, uh, a rope to tie it up when it comes into dock. It was the knots and rope that made us uh, civilised and we still need knots to make us civilised today.